Two days ago, I went to the gym. And normally when I go to the gym, I like to listen to my favorite albums, whether it's Dirt by Alice in Chains, Louder Love by Soundgarden, maybe a little bit of Audio Slave in there. But this day, for some reason, I thought to myself, Cammie, you've been listening to these same three records for like three years straight, you, you, got, you gotta listen to something else. And somehow, Greta Van Fleet was on my Spotify. And the only song I knew by them is Highway Tune and that one t TikTok. Well, we've been so I was like, let's give them a go. Let's listen to Starcatcher. A couple minutes in, I was thinking to myself, what the fuck? About 10 minutes in, I was thinking, holy shit. 15 minutes in, I left the gym, because I was like, this is so good, I'm so inspired, I gotta go ride a guitar riff, I gotta go sing, and what the fuck is Greta Van Fleet? If you don't know me, hi, my name is Kimmy Petten. I'm an alt-rock artist. I've also been training as a vocalist for a very long time, just a lover of heavy music in general, as you heard of my favorite records. And when I heard Greta Van Fleet, I was so fucking inspired. So today I'm going to be reacting to Greta Van Fleet because I, I barely scratched the surface with them. But today I want to react to them performing live because I would love to see how that little man sings live. Okay, so they have a video of them doing Heat Above Live. I've never even heard that song. I can already tell by the thumbnail. This motherfucker's about to belt. Okay, for this I need my vision, some good ass sound, and you know what I personally also need? <laughs> therapy. So good thing our sponsor for this video is BetterHelp. Speaking of needing therapy, look at this, all this cheetah print. I just got this rug, that's why I'm doing this weird ass angle. I, I wanted to show it off, honestly. I personally, believe it or not, have been in therapy on and off for nearly 10 years. I think it's something that Hi, Bruce. Everyone needs and anyone can benefit from, especially now. I feel like a lot of things just feel volatile and intense, and mental health can be rough sometimes for everyone, which is why I think everyone can benefit from therapy, and which is why I love BetterHelp, because they actually make therapy accessible. So BetterHelp is an online therapy platform, and how it works is you download the app, and then you take a quick little questionnaire where you fill out like what you're looking for, what you're looking for in a therapist, what you're struggling with, and then BetterHelp connects you with a licensed therapist. Usually this happens within like 48 hours too, so you can start therapy really fast. And these are licensed therapists that are literally trained to listen to you and give you unbiased advice and help you through any problems you're dealing with. Personally, when I've gone to therapy, finding a therapist sucks. I hate the process so much. So the fact that BetterHelp takes care of that for you, I, I love. Also, the fact that you can literally have therapy from the comfort of your home. If I wanted to, I could do therapy on my leopard rug with my cat because you could do a video call, a phone call, or literally just texting directly on the app. Also something I've personally struggled with therapy is finding a therapist I actually like. So with BetterHelp, if you're paired with a therapist for some reason you don't like them, which is totally fine, you can switch as many times as you need. And BetterHelp has a network of over 30,000 therapists, which even if you were living in the most populated city, you would never have access to that many therapists and that much range of expertise. You can schedule your sessions directly on the app whenever it's convenient for you. I mean, when you think about it, we take care of physical health by like what we eat or working out, I feel like mental health should be taken just as seriously, if not more seriously. So if you're trying to live a happier and healthier life along with the other 4 million people on BetterHelp, you can go to betterhelp.com slash cami to get 10% off your first month of therapy. Thank you again BetterHelp for sponsoring this video and now we're gonna react to Greta Van Fleet. <laughs> I'm gonna be so honest, that positioning was so incredibly uncomfortable. I hope you appreciated my leopard print. Alright, Greta Van Fleet, Heat Above Live. Let's go. quality of the video was shittier it would i would think this is from the 1960s
need to, I need to check this right now. Na, 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 na. That is a D sharp five. That is high even for a female vocalist. The fact that he as a male vocalist is singing that it casually, casually, within the first like two lines of the intro is crazy pants. This is my main reason why I wanted to react to them because I am such a sucker for high vocals. Okay, I need to shut the fuck up. We haven't even gotten through the verse. <laughs> It doesn't matter. He sounds fucking amazing and the, the guitar tone is so warm. Also some of the instrumentation choices, especially with the keyboard, is so 60s sounding. It's really interesting. But Jesus, his voice, the rasp, the range, the yodels that he does, like da da, crazy. was that he was hitting okay yeah of course it's a D sharp five so that's gonna be his high note that he's hitting which I need to reiterate that is so fucking high for a man and the fact that he's doing it with a lot of like power too and it's like the yodels in the rasp adding and he just has a lot of control of it like a very impressive vocalist does he ever go in his lower register I'm curious about that everything sounds so warm as well like all the instruments it, it creates such a I need more words to explain this but just like a, a comforting atmosphere. Comforting while also just being like badass. I don't know. anything like crazy like they're not going crazy on the guitar but it's it fits in so perfectly with it and also are they all brothers because they look alike but specifically I love live versions because it's not over perfected like his voice at times feels like it's almost cracking a little bit because of the rasp he's pushing a little hard but I love that I think it adds to the character also I love hearing fast vibratos personally I have a fast vibrato and you don't hear that that often but I, I just Really, really like it. Know what I'm about to do. First of all, I love that we heard some of his lower register. That 
part because we've been hearing him sing so high, which is gorgeous, but I was curious if he has both ends. But wait, we have to figure out what that note was. So what part is it? insane that's a g5 that is that is that is high as fuck i keep differentiating between the female and male range because a lot of times female ranges are just naturally a lot higher than males so the fact that he has a range that's high even for a woman is crazy a g5 you rarely hear that in music but i'm i'm so inspired this is what happened when i was at the gym i was like fuck working out i want to go sing major labels it's all manufactured so I'd be very curious if this has been like a long-term thing like is this their earnest it has to be there's no fucking way it's not because with that with that, that vocals right now I have to google like the most important question how tall is the lead singer of Greta Van Fleet Josh Kshishka wait is he Polish wait is he Polish I'm Polish okay he's five foot six that's not that short holy shit that those vocals are so inspiring and somehow some fucking how it doesn't sound over the top even though he's like going to insane notes incessantly it's so inspiring as vocalist myself being like wow he has a signature sound like the fact that he has his yodels and his vibrato and those notes is just so fucking cool obviously maybe their other songs have more like crazy guitars and shit and drums because this one felt pretty pretty mellow in the te terms of instrumentation also while we're here let me just let me just play something and we can just have a ponder have a ponder if you will it is kind of crazy how much they sound like led zeppelin i've heard a lot of people's opinions saying like oh they're a knockoff led zeppelin i've also heard a lot of people fucking love greta van fleet but I don't know, I think they sound deeply inspired by Led Zeppelin, but I still think they have their own unique flair to it. That being said, Greta Van Fleet is fucking sick. I am so inspired by them, not only as a songwriter, but also as a vocalist, as someone who loves rock music. That, those vocals are crazy pants. Those vocals are crazy pants, and I need to know more. So what should I react to next of Greta Van Fleet? What would give me a more... Like, I, I want to hear their, like, B-sides. Like, what's what's their weird shit? Thank you so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen, and ladies and thems. I hope you have a fabulous rest of your day, night, afternoon, wherever the fuck you are. And as always, please slow rock to your baby. See you next time. Bye.
we're on 